hello people this is a girl Mary and today and I am super excited to meet you today because there is something different today what I'm saying in essence is that today there is a new topic something different for you what I usually do I have decided to dive into something different for you today actually it was a request from a friend she was like uh, what can I do to keep my Nigerian man? I'm dating a Nigerian man. I really love him. And I would love to really stay in this relationship. And I hope that this relationship can actually turn into something, you know, something good. And she was like, please, can you tell me some things I need to know about keeping my Nigerian man? And I'm like, really? She was like, yes, because I'm a different nationality and I want to know what I really need to do so that I can keep my Nigerian man. And I was like, oh, okay. I tell you. So this is why I am here today. I'm sure she's watching actually because she said to me, just put that out. I will see that on your YouTube channel and I will go on to it and watch it so that I can learn what to do to actually keep my, my Nigerian boyfriend. And I'm like, okay. I'll tell you and these are simple things you need to know fine they are simple but they are very important you need to know that these things are so important to every Nigerian man I'm telling you every Nigerian man you love a Nigerian man you're dating a Nigerian man you don't know what to do my dear just listen to the steps and you never go wrong Believe me, you will never go wrong. I can tell you because I know, because I'm a Nigerian and I have seen them and I know how they behave. So if you want to go along with me and know how to keep a Nigerian man, come along with me. So number one, number one thing to do to keep a Nigerian man. Number one rule, number one commandment. If you're really, really dating a Nigerian guy, and you're thinking of settling with that guy. You're thinking of him taking you back to mama. Really? Okay. This simple. You want him to take you home to mama? Then you gotta love his mama. It's that simple. Number one rule for me. Love your boyfriend's mom. You need to love your man's mom. There is nothing you can do about it. You just need to love your guy's mom. You want him to love you? He loves his mom. He loves his mom. Believe me, men love their moms. It's not about Nigerian man or uh, any man from any nationality. All men love their moms. So if you want your man to really, really love you and take you seriously, darling, you have to love his mom. For me, that's number one. Love his mom, treat her right, Treat her kindly and you never go wrong. Believe me. Yeah, you will say I told you so. Love him, you never go wrong. That's number one. Number two, guess. <laughs> Just guess. Should I tell you? Or you know already? Okay, okay, okay. Colors. I'll tell you. Good food. You love your Nigerian man? Think about his tummy. Every Nigerian man loves good food. And when I say good food, I mean good home cooked meal. A Nigerian man is not that man that goes out all the time to eat out. Believe me, where I stay, people go out. I see families go out. They're like, we're having dinner out here. We're going for lunch. We're doing breakfast. You hardly hear an Nigerian man telling you, I'm doing breakfast, I'm doing lunch, I'm doing dinner. No, they don't do it out. They do it in. They only go for romantic getaways or outing or dating. But on a normal day, he stays home. He eats his food at home. He doesn't care. He loves his food. Home cooked meal. Number two, you cannot be wrong. Okay? A Nigerian man loves his tummy. If you love your Nigerian man, think about his tummy. If you think about his tummy, he's gonna think about you too. In every way you want him to think about you. So that's number two. 
if you love your Nigerian man, you want your Nigerian man to fall in love with you. Love is Tammy, and you never go wrong. Learn how to cook. There is no excuse. There is no excuse because in Nigeria there is one thing. Every girl, believe me, every girl knows how to cook. If a girl doesn't know how to cook, she's not wife material. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. I don't know. I cannot tell you. I've seen lots of people, lots of other nationalities. I've seen Filipinos, Kenyans, Ugandans, British, Americans. I've seen them. Some of them don't know how to cook. Indians, they don't know how to cook. And they're, they're like, I don't know how to cook. My husband does all the cooking. He's good. He knows how to do it. Oh, my husband is doing dinner this night. My dear, I'm sorry. No Nigerian man is doing, you know, dinner. Except he's so romantic and he just wants to surprise you. And you guys are still like in that dating, you know, that dating mood. But you're your married, my dear. A Nigerian man loves his food. And it's your duty to provide that food. Believe me, painful truth. But that's the truth. He wants his food. He loves his food. He loves his tummy. If you're lucky, he knows how to cook. He'll help you sometimes. He will help. I slice the tomato. Do some things. Not cook the food. He won't. Except maybe you're sick or you're in a hospital or you're pregnant or <laughs> you know or something. I don't know, but something. So that's for number two. Actually, let's not uh, let's not talk so much about number two. Number three of ways to keep a Nigerian man my dear package self i call it self packaging some people call it to slay when i mean slay and self package <laughs> i call it self packaging actually you have to package you know what i mean by packaging if you're not nigerian you will not know so i'll just tell you when i mean packaging i mean package Looking good. Looking good, they say. It's good business. So you gotta look good. You gotta look fly for your man. Okay? There is no excuse. There is no excuse. Looking good is good business. So you have to look good. You don't have no excuse. Sorry to say, some people, they get into relationship and after a while, they start getting bored. All nationalities do it. They start getting bored because they've been in that relationship and it has gone so... Okay, maybe they're even married. And then they start to look like... You know, people of how many generations away just because you're married. Come on, where is your sexiness? Where is your romantic spirit? Those spirits you got before you got married, where are they? This is time to unleash it. Do not say because I'm married now, I already got my man. Excuse me, there are so many ladies out there, so many single ladies out there who are ready to take him away from you in just a blink of an eye. So do not, do not be tempted to do that. Don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't do it, my sister. Because I love you and I want you to keep your man. So, remember, like I said, package. In the, in, in the pidgin English way, we will say, God, the baffle. <laughs> package yourself. Finally, just package yourself. Package yourself, look good for him, look fly. And he'll keep loving you. He'll never look outside. Not just packaging. Remember the steps. Love his mom, number one. Yeah? That I said. Love his mom. Know how to cook. Package yourself. That's number three. So number four. Let's see. What is number four? Hmm. Let's see. What can it be? Mm, number four beneath it goes hand in hand they go hand in hand you have to be neat you cannot be dirty you were not dirty when he met you so you were not dirty before why are you dirty now why are you not neat why is the house so untidy what are you doing why do you keep things dirty everywhere you're a woman for Christ's sake an African woman for that matter if you're a dirty woman then I'm sorry for you you're not a wife material there are lots of things that makes you not a wife material to a Nigerian man food being dirty lots of other things well but these are the things I'm telling you so if you're dirty 
the house is untidy sorry no no not a wife material not i said not the wife material so remember you cannot be dirty you have to be clean and that's number four so number five oh number five this is one rule i know i as a person for me as a person i keep these rules i cannot tell you things i don't do i can only tell you things i do number five love his friends and respect them love and respect his friends if you don't if you for any reason don't love any of his friends maybe because he's bad influence or anything you have to tell him kindly and nicely you tell it to him later you understand in a very loving way you have to tell him but do not castigate them he's not gonna find it funny believe me if you love his friends if you're happy with his friends if you have fun with him and his friends of course you're welcome to his world right yeah so you have to love his friends respect them if you don't like them your business who cares no one cares you just like them you just love them you just respect them anyways if you don't like them it's none of your business he's the one who has those friends not you you have your friends and he doesn't ask you to keep away from them but if he sees a bad influence he could mention it to you same way you feel if someone asks you to stop seeing your bestie or your friends it's just that so that's number five number six hmm. for me this is very very crucial and I'm sure it applies to men all over the globe love his games love his games he loves his game for example he if he's a soccer fan love his game or let him love his game you mustn't love his game but let him love his game is that easy is that simple let him love his game so like i said love his game or let him love his game you don't have to love his game but you can let him love his game for me i let him love his game and sometimes i love his game what it means is sometimes you can relax with him and watch with him and sometimes just let him have fun let him watch do whatever you gotta do that's all you need to do just do what you have to do but let him have his game or else believe me i'm a witness to that i was actually going to watch those games with him I started to let him go watch his games and then that's where it ended i just let him have his game even at home if he's watching his games believe me he may forget you only for that game just wait until that game is over and he'll be running right back to you because you were always there right okay and that's number six so let's see what's the next one this is going to be the final one for today you have to be hard working and industrious hard working woman number one industrious number one no number two number one hard working number one again industrious you're hard working and you're industrious and you got your man so keep your man be hard working be industrious and you're never gonna lose the man even if he has the cash, even if he has the money. You be your own self, be your own woman, make your doll. Don't rely on him. Have your own things, do your own things. And he's going to keep loving you and running back to you. You know why? Because you are an independent lady. And men love independent ladies. So these are my seven secrets to keeping your Nigerian man he will look at you like he's superhero. Yeah. He's heroine, he's queen, he's whatever, he's everything. And you're never gonna lose that guy. Believe me. So my friend, you asked for this, and these are seven secrets that I can give to you. There are other secrets, you know, but these are seven secrets. Do them. 
and you'll be running back to thank me believe me this is from Miriam to you so guys if you like this topic and you would like to know more about Nigerian men do drop a comment in the section below ask me whatever you like to ask me ask me things about anything anything about Nigeria because I'm Miriam the ninja girl and I'll be here to tend to your every name <laughs> and I'm here to respond to all your questions and any doubts you have about Nigeria or Nigerians so guys I'll be having different topics not just Nigerian Bajan English and slangs that's just the beginning for me I'm gonna dive into different topics relationship food everything anything talk about anything and there so anything you'd like to know anything you'd like me to talk about i'm here Marian, just doing what i know how to do best yeah so just do not forget type in on a comment type in okay on the comment below tell me what you like what you would like me to talk about and i'll be here to do the talking so guys do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel so until we meet again next time with another boring topic always remain happy because i'm always happy to see you again have a happy day bye